So we are here for the end of summer Brighton run organized by Derek Carter. I am Max Wolf, so check out Max Wolf Media if you want to see the video from today. We've got probably 50 plus cars. We're all going to take a cruise down the motorway. Massive convoy and we're going down to the Rodine Cafe in Brighton. Should be a good day. It's been running for many years and uh, I've done probably the last four or five of these. All videos on my channel just seeing what we do. But yeah, Brighton Run's been running for many years. Again, all, all thanks to Derek, puts on a fantastic run. All good times. Uh, so last, uh, the last one we had back in summer, we had 180 something cars, which was a busy one. <laughs> enthusiast of the... Yes, I, I'm very much a, a classic car enthusiast. Um, I collect and sell and the chase of finding a car is the most exciting bit of it. Um, I have uh, several classic cars but I've always had an itch to want an American car and that itch was scratched at uh, the beginning of or the end of last year when this car came up on the uh, Car and Classic website and I just had to have it uh, and I'm very pleased that I've got this Lincoln town car it's a 1988 it's never been registered in the USA it's only ever been in the UK and it's been driven by people that are enthusiastic uh, uh, supporters of the car and most of it has been stored through its life as a, a collector's piece it's only done about 38,000 miles and it's original paint which is unusual for a car of 1988 37 years old. Um, it's a brilliant car to drive, not like these great big muscle cars around me. Um, it's very much a relaxed arm on the door, relaxed cruiser and that's what I came along to this event because it's a cruising event, it's not an outright speed. I'll be lost by my wife's golf in this, never on about uh, some of these big beasts that are around me. So Gary Taylor and Lincoln uh, Town Car 1988. Um, how many years you had it now? Three, four? Three, four, Three, years. four years. Four years now. It was bought as being completely restored. Um, and yeah, you just liked it being the colour and the, the truck, didn't you? So went for it. We took it back to the workshop, went right through it. It had only done a thousand miles when we, when we got it. Um, Quite a few adjustments we had to make, final nuts and bolts, tighten up and all that sort of things. But that's running a Buick engine in it, V8. Um, yeah, goes like stink. The couple, <laughs> the couple that had it before we went to uh, the auction, they were in America. And the, the leather is their settee. 
all the leather in there on the seats and the dash and everything is their settee. <laughs> I think we've got the magazine in here, haven't we? This was the build. It was featured in, oh, we're losing a top cover now, but uh, this is all the history on the car. If we can find it, you can edit that out. Here we go. So this was the original just after the build. And uh, Ian brought it just after that auction. So Ian's got a quite a collection. He's got Chevy hot rods, um, as well as Model Ts, running about four Model Ts, anything ranging from 1914 all the way up to latter Model Ts as well. Um, Have you got a project or are you at a point that it's, you're struggling with either building the engine or axle or, or whatever, this community in the Americans, you know, the American car enthusiasts, there's always someone that knows. So whether you go on a forum or, or try and join a club, just ask the question. There's never a stupid question. And I think that's where a lot of people stumble, go, oh, I don't know about this bolt on the engine, you know, I need to, I need to take this out. How's, if it comes up. You know, just prime example. I need to get this bolt out here and it's seized. Someone's had that problem before, no doubt. Someone would have had that problem before and someone will know how to, how to get around it. And that silly little bolt could be stopping a complete project from going and getting back on the road, you know. I know projects that have taken 30 years to do. I know other people that have taken 10, 20 days to do them because they've got the support of other people to help them out. And all you need to do is just ask. Uh, for yourself, it's a difficult project was. No, I'm a mechanic by trade, so I know most stuff and I look after Ian's cars. It's difficult to drive. No, it's like, as easy as a Ford Fiesta, but <laughs> a lot more power, a lot more power. Uh, so it can be anything, it can be, we've had cars from the 20s, so 1920s cars, most of them are sort of 1960s, 1970s, and we have a lot of the modern Mustangs, they'll be the 2000s, 2010s, so it can be anything, anything that's got some style to it, you know, anything's welcome. Um, any words for those who want and they shame uh, that maybe my car is not good? No, nah, no, it's it's all the community. It doesn't to me personally. It doesn't matter what you drive. It's the person you are. I don't care if you've got a normal road car. If you like that car and you like it photographed, I'll edit you up a photo. Stuff like that. It ain't about what you've got or how much money or anything about that. It's all about the person you are. It's all community here. No one's here judging. It's not about a price tag. It's just about getting out and enjoying the scene. Um, oh, we get all sorts of stuff down on the run. We get anything. I mean, we've got a couple of drag cars down here. We've got all the modern stuff which would be high performance, got the classic American, so we've got all sorts down here. So they look better in a field even if it's raining than they do in a showroom. It's about getting out and having fun and making memories while we do it. I think we're all about to leave so I probably better get in the car and head off myself but it's good talking to you mate and make sure to check out Max Wolf Media for the video. See you all soon. <laughs>